Good Monday, I mean Monday morning to you. Hope you had a great weekend. You can share if you want to this morning. Now we get the special font for a new month, February, the month of love and Valentine's Day. Day number nine, 96 overall, Monday, February 1st, 2021, tomorrow's Groundhog's Day. Art today, I have three questions for our Everett Tulane. Who has been your favorite caretaker of Everett? Who has been your least favorite? And what is Everett learning about himself and his caretakers? Uh, we have five remaining people to share their main character presentations today. Hope you're ready. And since we'll be getting into uh, using our blank book and creating a nonfiction book, I want you to start really learning the features of nonfiction books. So here's two videos that go into detail about what is different about a nonfiction book than a fiction book. Seven students. That's a big old teacher tear running down my cheek. You might not be able to see it, but it's there. Only seven students submitted the test from Friday, seven. If you don't get it in today, it could be a zero, just like the main character presentations if you're not ready. Big news in handwriting, I have um, three. There'll be three files in the module today for handwriting. So let me show them to you. Let's see, where did they go? Do, 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 do. It's a blank one. Right there. Uh, if you print that, you can use this. It really, these lines help you to make your handwriting look nice. And then I have this in both um, print manuscript and cursive. So I want you to copy onto a printed blank piece these famous proverbs, a friend in need is a friend indeed, actions speak louder than words, a little learning is a dangerous thing, a stitch in time saves nine, all that glitters is not gold, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. If you don't know what those mean, you can look them up, we'll go over them tomorrow. Also in cursive, same thing, it's the same proverbs. So there you go. All right, let's take a look. Let's get back into our daily work assignment. We'll be having a test on the last group of words, all of these right here on Friday, spelling and vocabulary. So please practice on spellingtraining.com and dictionary.com for the meanings. We've got a, a new editing assignment today. It's about how it feels to be lost on a trip with your mom and dad, getting lost. And at the end, the fun facts are all about that. So these are fun, safe facts. I can't emphasize these enough for you all because I know some of you don't know this information. Know your parents' phone number by heart, not in your phone, but in by heart. Know their full name, not just mom and dad or their first name, but their full name, including middle name, and your complete address, complete address, street number, street name, city, town, village, whatever it is, and zip code, the whole thing. Stay where you are unless there's obvious danger. Ask a safe adult for help, and that is tricky. Who's safe and who's not? Well, if you're in a store, ask somebody that's in charge, like behind a counter uh, for help because you couldn't find your mom or dad or a police officer, a security guard, somebody like that. Never leave where you are with an adult that claims to know where your parents are. They can go get your parents. If they know where your parents are, they can go get them and bring them to you. Do not ever leave with someone you don't know. Decide on a meeting spot with your parents before you get lost. And that's usually, you know, if you go to a big place like a mall, just, you know, decide, we'll meet back here at this spot if we get separated from each other. And if you really get lost and you can't find them, full volume, shout the full name of your parent. Don't be embarrassed. Everyone has gotten lost before. So some good advice today for our fun facts. Really good advice. 
because uh, like I said, everybody's gotten lost before. So it's best to know what to do if you really get separated from your parents. We'll continue our daily life in the Indus Valley civilization. Let's see, I got my readers today. My readers are Colton, Pyrus, Pretum, and Abi. We'll be reading today. And the people that will be presenting uh, their main character from their fiction book are George, Porter, Pretum, Colton, and Dan. I hope you're going through these videos. They're really good and helpful. We'll continue our small group work on our world journey of these countries that you've been assigned. And today it's timed video riddles. Some of them you might have seen before, but it's time. So the riddle comes up and you have a certain amount of time to solve it, see how many you get. And we already went over the fun facts. All right. So we'll see you all soon.